Hi everybody, I'm Igor Smirnov, International Grandmaster and Chess Coach. This is the lesson how to make incorrect moves and to win. You know that there are a lot of different chess rules, principles and so on. However, sometimes strong players break these rules and win the game afterwards. Why does it happen? Does it mean that the chess rules don't work in some positions? Or maybe there are some exceptions? I've heard these questions many times from my pupils and other chess players. Let's look at one concrete example. It's a well-known theoretical position and it's black's turn now. Here black can suddenly play knight takes e4 and after knight takes queen e5. Black is obviously attacking the e4 knight and white can't save the knight because after f3 or any other move black can respawn d5 and take the knight down. Bishop d3 doesn't help because it closes the line of the queen and then black will take another knight. Queen takes d4. Though these tactics works for black, it still looks dubious. For example, after bishop e3, white is very active and it seems like black breaks the principle of development. Nevertheless, Wittler played this line against another top grandmaster Morozevich and won the game. It is one of those strange games. So here we come back to the questions, why does it happen and does it mean that the chess rules don't work in some positions? No, it doesn't. Chess rules work always. However, there is another rule. It states, in a normal situation, both players should make normal moves. If one player breaks the balance, make a mistake, then another one may and even should break the balance also. I'll try to illustrate it with a common life example. Let's say when you receive guests, you should be friendly and patient. But when you're catching a robber in your house, then you will not be very patient to him. Quite the contrary, you will probably create a lot of troubles for him. And that's logical because he broke the rules first, so you have to respond. Thus, when someone breaks the rules first, you may do the same as a logical response. <laughs> well, I hope that you will not catch someone in your house. I just try to illustrate the idea because it works in chess similarly. Why did a lot of pawn moves in an opening, ignoring development of the pieces? For example, his last move was a3, which certainly didn't develop anything. That's why white broke the principle of development first. Only then black may do the same. It explains why the move knight takes e4 is ok for black. Here is another example. Knight f3, d5. It's just an opening move, so I don't command them. c5, e3, and here black may play f6. Black is going to support his central pawn by playing e5. For example, if white takes the pawn, then after e5, Black will try to take back the pawn, saving the strong position in the center. Let's go back. And in this position, White has a powerful idea, e takes d4, c takes, and c5. At the first sight it seems bad. White made 5 pawn moves out of 6. However, it's still very good for White. I hope that you already know why it happens. It's because black did all the pawn moves. His last move f6 was especially bad because it weakens the, the diagonal a to g8 and also hampers the movement of the g8 knight. Thus white played c5 to exploit this mistake and to place the bishop onto the c4. One interesting game was played in this variation. It's not free of mistakes, but it's quite interesting though. In that game black played queen d5. White responded queen c2. 
Normally, we shouldn't develop the queen in an early stage of a game. In this position, it's possible because it's a reaction on the black's move queen d5. That's why it's possible and it's okay for white. Black played bishop f5, bishop c4, counter blow, queen takes f3, black is trying to win a piece, queen a4, it's the only move, and after the forced invariation, bishop d7, queen takes, knight takes, and g takes the queen, black played a5. Usually we should keep the mature all, so normally white should try to protect the b4 pawn somehow. However, white played knight a3. Black is ignoring development and white is trying to exploit it. A takes knight b5, threatening knight c7. So black played rook c8, knight takes d4 and knight c5. Here white broke the rule again and played knight e6. It breaks the rule you shouldn't make a lot of moves of a single piece in an opening. Nevertheless, it's a possible decision in the current situation, because it uses the black's undeveloped king side. We will not analyze the game until the end, because it's not related to our topic. By the way, computer shows a funny draw here, after rook c6, knight d4, rook c8, and after knight e6, it may happen a repetition. Now you can see that all the strange moves have a logical explanation. It is based on the rule. If your opponent breaks the balance, you may and even should do the same to exploit his mistakes. In the end, I'd like to warn you. I don't want that you use this rule as an excuse for your incorrect moves. Most often, you should make correct moves and follow the well-known rules. However, Sometimes you may use this lessons idea to find an unexpected move and to win a beautiful game. Thanks for your attention. Talk to you in the next lessons.